Elon Musk, a game-changing revelation on Mars alters everything. Since long before the awareness of other celestial bodies in the Milky Way, humans have always harbored dissatisfaction with life confined to their native planet, Earth. As we cast our eyes to the heavens in search of new frontiers for habitation, we are consistently reminded of the inhospitable, frigid, and harsh nature of the world beyond our atmosphere. Earth remains the sole planet in the Milky Way galaxy blessed with a life-sustaining atmosphere. Consequently, it is logical to assume that any endeavor by humans to establish settlements beyond Earth will encounter immense challenges and suffering. Recent findings unveiled by Elon Musk regarding Mars seem to reinforce this notion compellingly. What did he unveil? Prepare to be shocked. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell, as we are the top destination for the latest news on Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX. The desire to colonize and explore Mars has been a long-standing aspiration of humanity. SpaceX has a clear plan, and considering NASA's goal of sending astronauts to Mars by 2030, this dream could potentially become a reality. One of the most formidable challenges lies in transporting individuals across the vast expanse of 34 million miles between Earth and Mars. However, upon reaching Mars, humans will encounter significant obstacles on the harsh, freezing, and inhospitable planet. The availability of water is crucial for human existence on Mars, and although it has been traditionally believed that the Red Planet lacks this resource, evidence from the 1970s contradicts this assumption. When the Mariner 9 and Viking space probes transmitted images of Mars back to Earth, they revealed indications of water. Recently, researchers from Italy's National Institute for Astrophysics have contributed to our understanding. In 2018, they published a study in Science asserting the identification of a 12-mile-wide lake situated about a mile beneath Mars' southern pole. During the same year, the U.S. Geological Survey announced the discovery of eight locations on Mars where erosion had exposed notable cross-sections of ice deposits. These deposits were found to be situated between 1 and 100 meters below the planet's surface. Additionally, the American Geophysical Union reported that scientists, while analyzing data from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, discovered layers of ice and sand buried approximately a mile beneath Mars' northern pole a year later. Although the technology to extract water from the soil on Mars is not currently available, NASA plans to bridge this gap through the Mars Ice Challenge, an annual competition designed for university engineering students. At the Langley Research Center in Virginia, 10 finalists will showcase their prototypes for retrieving water from simulated subsurface ice on Mars. In 2019, the winning team of the competition was from West Virginia University. Their prototype, named Mountaineer Ice Drilling Automated System 3, demonstrated the ability to identify, map, and drill through various hard and frozen layers, ultimately extracting water from an ice block. Additionally, NASA has established partnerships to advance mining technology for space applications, including a collaboration with the Australian Space Agency. In July 2019, NASA, in collaboration with the University of Central Florida and Honeybee Robotics, introduced a prototype spacecraft named The World Is Not Enough. Wine. This compact spacecraft, roughly the size of a microwave oven, is specifically designed for mining asteroid soil, extracting water from it, and utilizing the water to generate steam. The steam is then employed to propel the spacecraft to its next mining destination. The technology used for water harvesting could potentially be adapted for future exploration on Mars. Moving on to Mars, it lacks a substantial atmosphere, which is a crucial requirement for supporting human life on a planet. Regrettably, Mars only retains a thin layer of atmosphere composed of unsuitable gases. According to NASA, the Martian atmosphere is predominantly composed of carbon dioxide, accounting for 95.3% of its composition, in stark contrast to Earth's atmosphere where carbon dioxide comprises less than 1%. Mars possesses a mere 0.13% of the necessary oxygen for human survival, significantly lower compared to Earth's 21%. Additionally, its nitrogen content is considerably low, measuring at 2.7% as opposed to Earth's 78%, which is vital for the sustenance of plants. The scarcity of breathable air on Mars renders life on the planet impossible. Moreover, Mars exhibits an extremely low atmospheric pressure of only 6.1 millibars, whereas Earth's pressure stands at 1,013.25 millibars. The significance of pressure for life on Earth cannot be emphasized enough. In the absence of adequate pressure, the minute pockets of air confined within a person's body would expand uncontrollably, leading to dire consequences. According to the Institute of Physics, this expansion would cause eardrums to rupture and bodily water to boil. In order to survive in space, astronauts utilize pressurized suits, and the same would be necessary on Mars unless they reside in a pressurized habitat. Due to the thin atmosphere on Mars, any heat from the sun dissipates into space.
Consequently, as stated by NASA, the planet experiences extremely cold temperatures, reaching as low as minus 285 degrees Fahrenheit. Some individuals have proposed the idea of creating an atmosphere on Mars, which would generate the essential gases and contribute to warming the planet. Terraforming involves the process of elevating greenhouse gases already present on a planet, such as carbon dioxide and water vapor, into the atmosphere. However, a study published in Nature Astronomy in 2018 reveals that Mars lacks a sufficient amount of these components to sustain human life. Therefore, for the time being, astronauts would need to bring all the life-supporting systems with them to survive on Mars. Lastly, we encounter the most formidable obstacle, radiation. The universe is teeming with detrimental radiation. Our sun and other stars serve as fusion reactors, generating substantial amounts of electromagnetic energy, encompassing X-rays and ultraviolet light. Moreover, the sun and other energetic entities like quasars or galactic cores emit high-energy protons, atomic nuclei, and other particles that can induce radiation sickness, impair the central nervous system, escalate the risk of cancer over a lifetime, and trigger degenerative disorders. The majority of these electrically charged atomic fragments are deflected back into space by our planet's robust magnetic field, acting as an invisible shield against such radiation. Additionally, any stray particles are absorbed by the dense atmosphere enveloping our planet. However, beyond this safeguarded cocoon, astronauts face considerable risks. According to the European Space Agency ESA, astronauts embarking on a journey to Mars may encounter radiation levels up to 700 times higher than those experienced on Earth. To address this concern, the agency is actively engaged in developing technologies aimed at reducing radiation exposure. Collaboration with particle accelerator facilities enables them to simulate perilous cosmic radiation levels found in space and devise and assess shielding measures for protection. In addition, the agency plans to deploy radiation sensors on NASA's upcoming Orion test launch to monitor exposure during the lunar mission. As for radiation on the surface of Mars, recent experiments conducted by astronauts aboard the International Space Station have have demonstrated their ability to successfully mix cement in microgravity, as per astronomical studies. The concept revolves around the eventual utilization of Martian soil to construct habitable structures using concrete, a robust and protective material that is already employed to shield individuals in nuclear power plants on Earth. Future missions dedicated to exploring Mars will confront scientists and astronauts with a multitude of challenges that pose threats to human life. Overcoming these challenges encompasses accessing water, coping with a frigid planet lacking oxygen, and effectively managing hazardous radiation levels. However, as humans embark on their journey to the moon with Mars as their ultimate destination, they will adapt and persevere, as they have always done, to discover innovative solutions to the impending issues. Moreover, the exploration of Mars' potential for sustaining life remains an ongoing subject of study without a definitive conclusion. In 2017, significant findings by scientists suggested the potential existence of past life on Mars. NASA's Curiosity rover detected the presence of boron, a fundamental building block of life, on the dusty surface of Mars. This discovery marks a significant advancement in the quest for extraterrestrial life and lends support to the hypothesis that life on Mars might have sought refuge underground following a catastrophic event that transformed the planet into a frozen desert. Patrick Gazda, a postdoctoral researcher at Los Alamos National Laboratory, emphasized the significance of this discovery, stating, The presence of boron on Mars offers a new avenue to explore the possibility of life once emerging on the planet, as borates potentially contribute to the formation of RNA, a crucial component of life. Borates serve as a potential link between simple organic molecules and RNA, which is essential for the existence of life. The presence of boron indicates that the necessary chemical reactions for the formation of organics could have taken place on Mars, indicating the potential significance of this finding. Undoubtedly, future human expeditions to the Martian surface led by SpaceX or NASA will involve extensive investigations into these borates. While their conclusive implications may not be fully understood even by 2022, they hold the potential to provide profoundly impactful insights in the future. In any scenario, SpaceX's priority lies in preparing the spacecraft for the journey to Mars. If all progresses as planned, the Super Heavy booster will enable the Starship to achieve unprecedented milestones. With a propellant capacity of approximately 3,400 tons, which could potentially increase to 3,800 tons in the future. The booster is equipped with 33 engines, a number that has varied between 29 and 37 during the course of its development. With an initial thrust of approximately 7,600 tons, 17 million pounds, the Starship's propulsion is expected to undergo further expansion in the future. To provide context, the Saturn V rocket, which propelled humans to the moon, had a thrust of around 7.5 million pounds and remains the most powerful rocket ever launched. However, 
the Starship's booster has the potential to significantly surpass that record by a substantial margin. According to Musk, the spacecraft will feature the world's largest heat shield, ensuring its safety as it hurtles through Mars' atmosphere at a staggering speed of roughly 17,000 miles per hour. For reference, during the landing of NASA's most recent Mars rover, Perseverance, temperatures reached approximately 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on the specific orbit, the Starship will have the capability to send 100 to 150 tons into space during each mission. According to Musk's perspective, the Starship has the potential to transport a payload of 200 tons, allowing for orbital refilling. This concept involves utilizing a second Starship that remains in space to replenish the fuel and resources of another ship, enabling it to complete the journey to Mars. Ultimately, this substantial payload capacity will be crucial for future Mars colonists to establish the necessary infrastructure and provisions. Regardless of the circumstances, the challenge of maintaining a prolonged presence on the Martian surface will persist.